okay, and then the Homeland Security Emergency Management, this panic button system, brand new. I did, uh, first I saw it was like five minutes ago and it's $4.5 million. It appears um, to have been put in at the last minute. Can, some, can you explain where this came from? Yeah, so um, it's, it's my understanding it's a, it's a uh, recently developed and developing technology um, I, I can't speak to exactly, you know, where it came from, you know, if some particular individual asked uh, for it to be in there. Um, as the technology was explained to me, it seems like a, a remarkable piece of technology. I'm not that old, but I'm kind of old school. I wish we just did pen and papers and do all these tablets and computers and phones in school, um, but that's, the, that's where we live. And uh, how the program was explained to me is you can, you can uh, um, get an alert on your, uh, on your app. Uh, if you see some kind of, you know, for example, an active shooter situation or something like that, an individual student can set that off. Uh, there, if the building schematics are programmed into there, uh, that will alert um, you know, other people to maybe stay away from that area and get emergency people there. So I can't speak to where it came from, um, but it will be uh, $2.5 million this year and $2 million uh, for FY23 uh, w with the possibility of having, if, if, this, if this works and this is the greatest program ever in the history of the world, we can look at appropriating more for it at that time, or if school districts really like it, you know, they could also invest uh, in it in the future. I mean, it appeared to me from the way it was drafted that this is an earmark for a private company to get $4.5 million out of the infrastructure and, and with no explanation to, to lawmakers on specifically who's going to have access to it. Like, is this going on in an elementary school child's phone? It would be it would be all K two all K through twelve students as well as teachers. It would it would. They're going to put it me, on their excuse phone. Me, teachers, excuse me. It would, teachers and administration. Excuse me. It would go on to their devices. And the broader the broader policy goal is the the, the, the broader policy goal is school safety. Uh, this particular you know. Um, we can say we don't like if it, you know, we say, it's, oh, it's earmarked for one company or the other. There, it's an emerging technology. Competition will emerge. Technologies will improve. Um, there, wasn't, there wasn't a lot of social media, you know, before Facebook. A lot of options have, have, have improved since. And I think, it's, I think it's good for a matter of public safety, or excuse me, school safety uh, to begin this and review this and see, we'll call it maybe a pilot program, see if it works. Uh, and if it is beneficial for, for student public safety, I, I think that's a wise expenditure, in, in my opinion. So it's a pilot program with, for $4.5 million. How many schools will it cover? All of them. So I use the term pilot as like, you know, we're just starting, we're just starting out with it. That's how, I'm, that's how I'm using the term pilot. Okay. So typically when I think of pilot, like, let's try this in one school. Correct. Let's see if it works. And, but this is the whole enchilada we're getting here. We're spending $4.5 million to buy it. Yes, for school safety. Okay. So it's not a pilot project. Okay. Um, I think, th I think that's all of my questions. And like I said, thank you for uh, running the bill today. Thank you. Um,